I mean, starting out, it was like, I'm just painting, I'm just painting whatever comes out. I mean, it's the same thing. And then somewhere along the line, it went from like, I started to assess it, I guess, is the bigger difference. You know, in the beginning, it was more like, I'm just doing it. I don't know. I don't want to answer your questions. I just want to do it. And I, and I enjoy it. And then over time, it's like, like I said, man, it was more like when you're doing it all the time, you're like, well, why did I start out trying to paint a moose and now I have a shark? I don't know, for me, that's the best way to say it. I'm not saying it to anyone else. It's like, it's the purest thing. It's like, if I say, I'm gonna make a shark for these people, it's like, how pure can the creation be? You're doing it with an intention and an intent and outside sources right from the get-go, even if it's your own idea. It's like, where if there's not even a concept, it's like all random lines and colors, and then you just come to it. It's like, to me, that's like, just pure like you don't even know what you're doing and then and and, and on some other level I, I, earlier on I, I this was really important to me was like the idea of nature just being beautiful and if you approach the work that way <laughs> it's gonna have that same random beauty it's like you don't plant flowers in a field you know they just grow wherever they grow and you look at it and it's beautiful man you know a garden could be beautiful but just you go to the coast poof, there it is it was just there so it's just like if you're just going at it you have that same kind of naturalness to the work. I'm in the beginning. It would be like I, I, I couldn't answer so much like why or what it meant. Just that I was into it. I, I don't know. I think that's kind of something that happens. I should paint for a while too, you know. And definitely going full time. That really switched my my sense of what I was doing and why I was doing it. I mean, you know, life became really more co The painting, just when you're doing it every day, just becomes a lot more cohesive. I mean, you can't help but start to understand what you're doing and why you're spending eight hours instead of little gaps of random time. Remember to walk towards as well as a way. It's cool, like even, even painting, over, like I'll buff out half the words half the time and it's interesting to me like what words remain, which words stay, like it's funny, like when I'm figuring it out at the end it always seems to all make some kind of good legitimate sense. <laughs> I kind of let that guide me as much as the rest of it, it really kind of tells me what I'm doing. You know, it's like primitive people, they didn't, they didn't do their work to get rich or to, you know, it was like important to them. It seemed to be spiritual and come from within. It's like you look at all that work and it's just like a reflection of them, what they were living, whatever that was, whether it was tied to just their life or religion or whatever it was, you know, it's like, and I kind of just feel that too. It's like, well, where is it coming from? Why am I just doing whatever? And this is what I do, or I always start with this same face and it mutates and morphs, but it's got that kind of level and I just, I, that's what I grew up loving as a kid. I used to actually want to be an archaeologist, it was kind of like my big dream when I was little. I was just all into everything that I liked. It was always like cavemen or primitive stuff or old Mexican art, Indian stuff. Always loved as a kid. Uh, yeah, like 99 or 2000, I was doing music like I was saying before, that was kind of like my dream thing and that all fell apart. My drummer moved across the country, the band just freaked out, so I just kind of got kind of pissed and depressed. And my, I met this, this art kid who just like blew my mind. Like I'd never really thought, like I liked art, but I didn't really, again, think of art. I think more like of a graphic on a skateboard or something as being cool. But, and you know what I mean? Like just meaning like not thinking of art as a gallery or a thing like that. And then I met this kid, his work was like off the hook. So showed him some of my drawings and he, freaked out and was trying to convince me to paint. So point being, after the band broke up, I kind of pursued it, met up with the dude and started painting with him. And it was pretty funny, man. <laughs> the first like year, I just pretty much stopped doing music, sat at home and painted all day. 
and had about 100 pieces done the first year. And like all my music buddies would come to my apartment and they're just like, what, what happened? You know, the whole place was full of art at that point. And they were like, what are you gonna do? Are you gonna do something about this? And so after hearing that for about six months, I decided to try and get a show. Without it, I start going nuts. It's like, I had to run errands all day yesterday. It's like, I don't even know how normal people, I don't know how I used to exist when I had a day job. The, the level of how much I want to do this, it's like, I probably do like, still probably doing like seven pieces a week, you know, and I'll work on, like, the, generally this is it, you know, maybe some more, maybe a few less, but it's usually like 10 or 15 things just kind of building up in here, and then by the end of the week, some chunk of them get done. If I work on one thing too long, I start to to want to make it happen or finish it or something where it's like, if I jump around, it's just looser, it's more comfortable. I don't get caught up in trying so much. It's more like, and it's also really inspiring and inspires new ideas about what to do, colors, anything. Cause it's like, I got all this stuff. It's like, oh yeah, that peach and that orange. Oh man, I should put that on this piece, or, or vice versa. I'll just see different color combinations, different textures, whatever, and then it helps me kind of build the pieces too, because I've got all these things, and if I get sick of something, instead of getting mad at it, I'm just like, all right, see you later, come over here, and then I'll see it totally different too. Sometimes, I mean, you see me out work, and I'm like this close to the thing the whole time, I forget to even look at it, and I'll stand on the other side of the studio, because there's a random painting lowering me over. It's like, oh, crap, I didn't, <laughs> I had some total other idea what it looked like, you know, so that, like, the whole thing kind of pushes and pulls and it, it really keeps it going. And it's exciting, man, it's, it's like, it, it amps me up when they, they all start forming out, it's like, ah, I get frantic, I just want to, I don't know. <laughs> 